What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. This is a fish and dive show that if you really love fishing and diving, you're gonna love this show and if you love it as much as me, please feel free to subscribe. And also, um, if you're already a subscriber, thank you guys again. We just hit 600, so I'm super stoked. Um, but if you are a subscriber, please leave a thumbs up and a comment. I go through all of them and appreciate everyone. And uh, on this week's episode, we are going trolling for Papil, and we end up catching or hooking up with a huge fish. But uh, when I say we, I mean Cap Johnson, of course, hooked up with a big fish. But somebody kind of messes up. I'm not somebody. <laughs> well, anyway, let's jump right into the action of Cap Johnson hooked up with that fish. But make sure you guys stay to the end because I'm going to show you how to make a quick uh, little hand gaff that uh, pretty much any of you guys can do at home. Um, I'll go over the benefits of netting versus gaff. All right, guys, let's go holo holo. Oh, Cap, there you go. Oh, nice one, Cap. <laughs> it's a big turtle. Yeah. How's that? The oh, I'm gonna switch lure. <laughs> the old switch lure trick, huh? Oh. Is it coming or? Does it look like it's not? Yeah, what, what do you think it is? Roy. Because weird, huh? it's kind of like dead weight looking. It's really chumpy fish pools. Looks more like a five pound Roy. <laughs> what you got? What you got? I'm kind of excited now. But it's a fish though, I mean, it's. But you feel something, right? Oh, nice turtle. Really? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, a... oh! I don't even think he knew he was hooked. What is that? I don't even see color, to be honest. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, I seen him. Hold oh, uh, it. Look like Kazami, huh? Oh, brah! Olua, olua! I don't think you knew this up. Nice cat. Yeah, I know, shallow. Um, I think I got him. Yeah, I mean, well, the, the ledge is right there. Kagami, nice Kagami. Easy, easy. There you go. We're right there, we're right there. Woo, cat! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're almost, we're almost there. Okay. Oh, nice kagami. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. He's right there, though. So, how's that one, huh? Kagami. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that silver. Yeah, there you he's, go. He's almost there. He's so strong, I don't have to dive and swim under a ledge. I'm... Woo, look at that. Nice and Kagami. Our bright idea was get out a little deeper, right? Yeah, I was like, oh, there it is. Just go on. follow the current line, cross over all the, uh, the patches. I'm get the long leader. Come on, I'm not getting. Come oh, on, I'm not getting here. Sorry, because we're moving now. You gotta come forward. Oh shit, you gotta come forward, Cap. Uh, I know. If this is like a worst case scenario. No, 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 no. Oh man. You know what they say you don't always catch and release, but when you do, it's on camera. <laughs> 
Oh, you know, I hooked the net, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Kat. All right, let's cover um, nets versus gaffs. For me, for nets, there's basically three different types. Um, they're all good and have advantages and disadvantages, but it comes down to the material it's made of and the size of the eye. So the first one is like a very fine mesh. That one you're going to use for like smaller fish, Akuli Awama, and the, and the such. But if you use this when you're trolling and you have treble hooks, if that gets stuck in that fine mesh net, you'll never get it out. It's a pain in the butt. So the next one you can see is the one with the bigger eyes. Um, this is the one that we were using in the video. It has like a, you know, regular poly nylon uh, rope as the netting. Uh, this one's good and I, I like it and I use it and I do a lot of catch and release so uh, nets are perfect. And then this last one is kind of the same thing but the net itself, the netting is made out of a soft rubber. So they say this one's even better because the hooks don't get stuck as easy and um, because of the soft rubber it's a lot more gentle on the fish. So when you do a lot of catch and release this is a lot better. However, on the caveat side of that is the price. and because I've never owned one, I don't know how they do under like UV conditions. I don't know if it's going to degrade or anything. But those are our three. And next is gaffs. Gaffs, come on guys. Like they're basically all the same. The only difference is size and length. So depending on what you're trying to catch and what, what you're trying to do. I'm just going to go over uh, a simple one that you can make at home uh, for small to medium fish, uh, good one, spare one to have on the boat. Um, and also I'll show you my the one my friend is making for Papio and Aku. So since since we lost that uh, last one, kind of big Kagami, my fault, poor uh, netting. But if we had a gaff, we guarantee we would have got it. So uh, I'm just gonna make a gaff and show you how to make a really cheap, small little hand gaff. You're just gonna need an old broomstick, which you found in the yard. So I cut off the end. Drill a hole, place it inside the hole like this. And then what you can do too is you can notch it out so that the shaft rests inside. And then you're just gonna finish off with a clamp and then we're gonna put it together. All right, let's just jam this out real quick and easy. So what I like to do is I measure it out to where I kind of want it. Cause there is a bend here. So you want the flat straight part to be on here. Right about there, mark it. Yeah. Right here, I'm just drilling out a hole, the depth of the pin in a cone, oh, cone shape. Because as you can see, it uh, it's kind of an angle, triangle, square. So basically, you want it to fit, and you pound it in so it's nice and tight, but you don't want the wood to crack. So what I'm, what I'm doing is opening up the hole a little bit. I'll just try to hopefully tap this in. So once I get it to about this level, see how it's nice and flush, right? This is kind of where I want it to end up, but I want to actually hide the shaft inside of the wood. Just a little, you don't have to, this is just an extra step. So I just mark it like that. So now I'm just going to grind out this a little so that this goes inside a little. So right there, semi hollowed out. Looks pretty smooth. Again, this is just a simple, it's not a professional one. Let's just get it in there. Perfect. See how, you see how now it's like it's in the groove. So that's super good. All right. Now I just gotta put the clamp on. Okay. There's other ways to do this. You could um fiberglass it in you can do all but this is the old school quick and easy way it's just pin it and then I trenched it so that it holds nicer and then I'm just gonna stainless steel clamp it and then I'll be done here's a good example of my uh, my buddy Steve he's making a gaff for Aku and Shibi but he uses a double hook like that with a stainless steel bolt and nut through and then what he does is gonna wrap it with the rope and then you're gonna glass it in 
So it came out beautiful. And with the small hooks, you're really good on smaller fish where you can just jam it in, you don't miss. So when you um, put this clamp on, hose clamp, make sure that this part is in the back on the side. You don't want it in front because it might throw off when, when you gaff. So I'm just gonna put it on the back. And then what I'm gonna do is just wrap it with some, just to protect it a little bit more and prevent uh, people from accidentally getting uh, cut. So I'm just kind of taking away the sharp edges. This is um, this electrical tape, but really thick, thick electrical tape. This is like 10 mil. So my, what my friend did, he actually twist this tape to make a grip and then you go back up. Thank you, Jake, for this idea. So using this almost like the old school rope. This tape is actually used for like ducting or actually to wrap conduit and stuff. So it's really to protect it from the elements. So you want to wrap it really tight. You see what I'm doing? And I'll just fast forward through some of this to get it done. But it's it's sealed and it has a good grip on it. It won't go get eaten up by the sun or anything. So it's pretty good. I could have went thicker or put more twists so there's more grip, but that's pretty good. And you're not gonna use this for like, let's say a, a marlin or big eye or something. This is more just for a small fish, like papil or even some small mahi or ono. But it's just, just enough so you can grab a dam instead of trying to use a net. But I like to use, do a lot of catch and release, so that's how we use a net. But uh, sometimes when you need, need it to count, it's better to have a gaff than a net. So that looks pretty good. If anything, I might just plastic dip the ends and call it a day. All right, hope this guy's helped. Thank you guys again for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, make sure you guys hashtag all your photos, um, hashtag On Fire Fishing Hawaii and I'll try to make sure I'll put it at the end of my videos for the catch of the week section. Alright guys, remember to fish safe and fish with Aloha. Alright, see you guys on the next one.